Now, I want you to picture this six-foot-tall, strong, muscular and burly man with every inch of his bare skin covered with tattoos from his neckline down to his hands. John is one such 36-year-old man. He grew up in a broken family and his father was a gangster. The environment at home was violent and abusive. When John was in primary six, he dropped out of school and eventually he joined the secret society. Now, these are the typical backgrounds of the inmates I meet regularly within the four walls of the Changi prison, and every inmate has an interesting story to tell. John is one such inmate. He's now serving a 10-year sentence for drug-related offences. His disillusioned wife divorced him. John has one son, just three years old, whom he loves dearly. Now, I want you to picture this same six-foot-tall, strong and muscular man wincing, tearing, shaking, and perspiring in pain. Why? Because his tattoos are being removed. The tattoo removal project was initiated in 2009 by Irene and Jason from Gigat International. They both felt driven to give something back to society because of the business successes. My own experience with the tattoo removal project also started in the same year when a group of volunteering doctors were given a chance to visit the Changi prison. I remember vividly we were treated to a four-course Western lunch, cooked and served by the inmates. We were even serenaded by a five-member band and a group of crooning singers, all made up of the inmates. I was totally, totally impressed and amazed by the skills of these inmates, life skills that are acquired while they are serving their term in the prison, taught by selfless volunteers who are industry experts in their own areas of expertise. Now, this experience is what motivates me to be part of the team, to help to transform the lives of these inmates, hopefully helping them to start all over again. To date, for the past four years, we have treated about 369 inmates, with some requiring at least 20 to 30 sessions of lasers to remove their tattoos. Now, the Tattoo Removal Project, together with the rehabilitation program started by the Singapore Prison Service, aim to change the attitudes and behaviours of the inmates while they're serving their term in the prison and also to equip them with employable life skills. The Yellow Ribbon Project, which started in 2004, aimed to create the awareness to give these ex-offenders a second chance in life and also to generate acceptance of these ex-inmates and the families in the communities and hopefully bringing down their re-offending rate. In fact, the re-offending rate or the recidivism rate, which is a percentage of criminals returning to crime within two years after they've been released from the prison, dropped from a resounding 40.1% in the cohorts of 2000 to 23.6% in the cohorts of 2010. Now, this is one of the lowest in the world and is testament to the combined efforts over the years, which contributes to a better society as these inmates become valuable, contributing citizens. Now, we've all thought about getting a tattoo at one point or other. For those of you who have a tattoo, you know what I'm talking about. Now, someone once described the pain of having a tattoo as akin to a blade cutting across the skin. Now, tattoo removal is at least 10 times more painful than that. The level of pain involved in removing a tattoo is similar to being pricked hundreds and thousands of times by a very sharp needle. Now, going back to John. John has the symbols of gang affiliation tattooed throughout his whole body and his hands. Every tattoo signifies something. Many signify his gang affiliation. He's determined to renounce his gang affiliation and to have this physical indication of his past removed, a past that many inmates would like to forget. To him, the love for his son far outweighs the physical pain he experiences while having his tattoos removed. But not all tattoos can be removed completely, just at the tarnished past of the inmate. Now, I want you to take a look at this tattoo. To remove a palm-sized tattoo made up of black, red or green colour, it takes an average of four to six sessions, and each session costs about $500. Which means, to remove a palm-sized tattoo made up of black, red or green colour, it takes an average of $3,000. Now, this is expensive, even by normal standards, let alone if the inmates have to cough out this amount of money something which they cannot afford. We know too that tattoos come in multiple colours, red, green, turquoise, orange, yellow, some with heavy metals added into them to make the colours more vibrant. 
They look pretty to the outside world. But do you know that only simple tattoos made up of black, red or green colours can be completely erased with the lasers? Sometimes, the tattoo removal process leaves behind remnants of colours or even physical scars, just like the emotional scars of the inmates. We must help to unlock the second prison for these inmates, even as they are let out of the physical one. Removing a tattoo is one part to opening the door to a new chapter in their lives. My hope is that these ex-offenders who have been helped and have made good in life will pay it forward by helping other ex-offenders to move on with their lives and hopefully not re-offend again. Sometimes I see inmates as young as my own sons, aged 20 and 22 years. As a mother, would you want to see them going back to the old ways of life after they be released from the prison? Do you want to give them a second chance in life? As an employer, would you give these ex-inmates a second chance in life by employing them? As a friend or a family member, would you help them to integrate in the society by giving the support that they need? I want all of you to think about this, that in the various roles that you play, would you give these ex-inmates a second chance in life? Thank you.